Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Shelby Pay. First, it was California, now New York, moving forward with a plan to review the idea of reparations for New Yorkers of African descent and acknowledge the wrongs of slavery in the state. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine lays out the scope of legislation signed earlier today. In New York City, Governor Kathy Hochul signed racial justice legislation. She says while New York State prides itself for the Underground Railroad and the thousands of New York Union soldiers who fought in the Civil War, the state does have an ugly side to its history. Yes. Here in New York, there was a slave market where people bought and sold other human beings with callous disregard. It happened right on Wall Street for more than a century. According to Hochul, it's time to acknowledge those injustices. I'm authorizing the creation of a commission, a committee to study what reparations might look like in New York. Let's be clear about what reparations means. It doesn't mean fixing the past, undoing what happened. We can't do that. No one can. But it does mean more than giving people a simple apology 150 years later. According to the law, the governor, Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins, and Assembly Speaker Carl Hastie will each get to appoint three people to the commission within 90 days. New York is not the first state to do this. Senator Stephen Bradford served on California's Reparations Task Force and shares some of the 115 recommendations that were put forth. From Re-education at our college systems to assistance in first-time home buyers to uh, relief of uh, state taxes for a period of time to even cash payments. He says in California, it's now up to the legislature to decide which recommendations move forward. The Black Caucus is primarily going to take the lead on introducing those pieces of legislation. Here in New York, Senate Minority Leader Rob Orr is against the legislation, saying, quote, the reparations of slavery were paid with the blood and lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans who fought to end slavery during the Civil War. As we've seen in California, I am confident this commission's recommendations will be unrealistic, will come at an astronomical cost to all New Yorkers, and will only further divide our state. We will continue to follow the process as appointments are announced. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.